typical day of a caseworker, I would say it's, you know, obviously voicemails and emails. Um, they're just rapidly coming, rapidly. You uh, so attended to voicemails and emails from the previous day. Um, and then it's literally, you know, worrying about um, families that need to be seen, things that you have scheduled. And you have to prioritize because you also have things that are, you know, necessary that you have to get done. But you have to be, um, you have to be flexible. So it's attending to the things that absolutely need to be done and then just be prepared for things to fluctuate throughout the day. I take maybe four cases that day to assign to my team and then they, those caseworkers, then have 24 hours to make contact with that family. That can be, um, you know, if we're really concerned about <clears throat> safety of a child immediately right then and there, they may call the police to go out with them. They may do an unannounced home visit to the home to try to make contact with the family, or they might make a phone call to really say, hey, mom, dad, this is what we're being told. Let's talk about it. When can I come meet you and your kids? Are you guys safe now? Our job is the first knock or the first phone call. So 90% of the, the actual job is really your documentation. Um, so speaking third person, um, just documenting what you see, what you hear, what you observe, um, and specifically what is said to you, the family, um, represents themselves as themselves. So you treat interviews literally like from a journalist standpoint, you just take what is given to you. That's, that's, that's 90% the documentation. You go spend a lot of time on paperwork. But the most important duty you have is engagement with a family and learning how to get meaningful information when you engage with families. We're also providing support and services, and that could be linking a family with uh, counseling, providing food, clothes. Um, we, I feel like this position is pretty well-rounded because there's a lot that's expected out of us. So entering a home, interviewing a family, it's always, you know, first you have to, it's a, you have to get through that initial barrier um, because just families don't know you and you don't know them. And all you know is the paperwork. And families, a lot of the time, already going to, um, into the visit thinking the worst. We're here to think the worst about them, to say the worst about them and their situation. So um, you have to just be prepared to let these people know that you're there to treat them like people and we're here with a common goal to get us out of your life and not be dealing, having to deal with your family. Yeah, so entering a home and um, interviewing a family, at first it can be very intimidating just because you, you don't know this family. Um, everybody's demeanors can be different. Most of the time, most families aren't very happy to see me there. Um, they know at that point that their case could be open for a while. I am often the first person they're seeing since their kids have been removed. Um, I can recall times where parents have, I, I've walked in and I've just started screaming and yelling at me, using profanity, and just being able to step back and be like, okay, I understand that this is what happened during intake, um, but what, let me work with you and see what I can do to get all these issues resolved so I can just get out of your life. Can I describe a, a case where there's hazards in the home? I went to a home where there was feces all over the place. Dog, human, um, there were roaches. And the thing about that, I know that although it was a very hazard situation, I still have to be respectful towards my family. So I wasn't like, oh, I can't believe this. I was just like, okay, can we meet outside and talk about this? Um, because I never want to be disrespectful. This is how they live. You know, we know it's not right. They may not. We can educate. But at the end of the day, this is their home. 
we're here for them, we're here to work with them, and I never want to be disrespectful towards the families that I work with. Uh, the job responsibilities of an ongoing caseworker, there is a ton of paperwork. Um, we have a saying that if it's not documented, it didn't happen. Um, so making sure that you are thorough with being able to document anything that you're doing while working with families. Um, we have to do like reunification assessments, case plans, uh, just to name a few things. We go out and visit with the families at least once a month. Um, with that, you're assessing safety of the kids, making sure that the families have all the support they need to get their case plan done. Um, we go visit children at foster homes, participate in um, IEP meetings with schools, you can attend doctor's appointments with the kids. We work closely with the providers to ensure that parents are getting the services they need um, and the support they need so um, kids can either return home or we can uh, close out our case.